Good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. Everybody's lying up today. We have 20. We're going to be doing the RV strategy at 10 o'clock again uh, today. I did not take um, any swing positions this week. Um, I just I was looking and I just could not find one I felt comfortable with after getting burned last week. It went up so high. I just I feel like I need to um, see where it's going to end up going right now. I wanted to go short, but then I don't know um, if that's going to keep happening. So as far as that goes, but today we'll be doing the RV strategy and we'll be trading meta. It rated a, an eight on the rating system. I am going to go over a little bit about what the RV strategy is, but if you want to know in detail, buy the day trading volume one, which is a link to right on this book, on this, um, channel. Um, anyway, so hopefully you have read this. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Um, so this is what we consider to be our perfect one-minute layout. I ha I know I built one over the weekend. I actually ended up changing it again a little bit. I will, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I will make this available on this video today if you'd like to get this. I did take a small trade already as we were lining up here this morning, and actually on a on a couple other stocks, I was doing some small trades as we were deciding which one to do, just kind of in and out quickly. So again, everybody will be trading 750 shares. There's 20. Everybody is here already, ready to go. We will be starting right around 10 o'clock. I'll be calling the ball, uh, which means I mark out the charts. Everybody kind of has some talk, uh, ideas about that as well. And then I'll say which direction I'm going. But obviously, everybody makes their own trades. The only, only thing that we've agreed to do <clears throat> is to all trade the exact same share size so nobody gets FOMO, so 750 shares. So this is a one-minute layout. This is a scalper's indicator, which is available uh, episode 82 or 83, I think. But uh, if you just type in scalper's indicator, you can get this. This is something that you, you should, really should have if you're new to the channel. Um, this really it shows all the buyers, all the sellers, shows the percentage of what's going down as quickly on a one-minute chart. There's a lot of details about... <clears throat> I've got something in my throat uh, about how I set up my volume profile, how I set up my VWAP, uh, a lot of different videos about how to do that. My um, level two, the active trader. This is a 15 minute chart. I put back the one hour chart after I took it off over the weekend, four hour, five minute, and then another five minute. And so how, what is the RV strategy? Just briefly, you take a daily chart and you look at the, um, I also had a, uh, I have new monitors and so I have a bunch of stuff that changed. So everything's a little different on my setup. I had internet issues and it was a big deal, <clears throat> but it's all worked out now. So you take the close of the last candle, which you will not be able to see under my picture because the other thing that happened is I got hacked. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm really covering up that uh, account information because it showed some of it. I didn't even realize it was showing some of my account information. But anyway, that's been changed. So that's good. Um, so you take the close of the last candle uh, the last uh, day and then you take the atr and you divide that by two and you add half of it uh, to the close to get the atr high and you subtract half of it from yesterday's close to get the atr low that creates your first channel it is range bound trading so you're creating a channel <clears throat> inside to, to which you're going to trade in and basically that channel is the average true range of that stock over a 14-day period the total amount just equal in about nine dollars and thirty cents and then within that channel you're creating more channel i mean that that's the main range it's a range bound strategy so it may look like ridiculous here but basically on a four hour chart i'm marking bodies and wicks within that channel that's why there are all so many because they're within that channel when you spread it out and you start to trade it's not that big i also do two fibonacci's which i'll show you here you do uh, fibonacci on the 10 day five minute chart so high to low all right, and then you do it on a two-day five-minute chart, which you have all ready to rock and roll high to low. So now what those all do is that's where the stock has turned around before. That's either the Fibonacci or uh, levels that people respect. The four hours are where the stock has turned around and pivot. They're pivoted points, pivoting points. And I, I found that um, a lot of the people wanted to keep the one hour guy. So we did. I did keep that here. I got enough channels here where I didn't have to do it. But if you're, you know, day trading for success is trying to make um, not not thousands of dollars a day for everybody. We trade that way in the Million Dollar Margin Club a lot, but basically 100, 200, 300, and you might want 
smaller, tighter channels that are five cents, 10 cents, 15 cents. So usually to get those, you have to do the one hour as well. And that's what's pointed out to me that if we're going to be teaching um, the lower uh, share size as well, uh, everybody wants the higher share size for excitement to watch. But, you know, in reality, most of you are probably trading you know, 100 shares, 50 shares, 25 shares, and you have a max loss of $10 per trade or $20 per trade, not 500 or 1,000 like you might see us or even 2,000 because we're crazy. But um, how much time do we have left? We have about three minutes, guys. So it looks right now like it should be, we should be, it's trending up. So yeah, you're looking for those pivot points and that's what the RV strategy is all about. Um, you're looking for the pivot point. So you can't really look at level two very much on a large cap. Uh, RV strategies, large cap, $25 billion market cap minimum, $1 billion float minimum. Those are all large cap, way higher than that, most of them. Meta's way up there. And then we have that rating system that we've used that we used to go over it, uh, you know, every, you know, in detail. But we finally, there's a book out with it that so you can just look at it on that or you can watch the video on the channel and get the rating system. Finding the right stock is important. So this rated very high. And there's another rating system for the open strategy. I know I just keep beating this up. I still get emails no matter how many times I say it. That's in the day trading log book that this, uh, the Million Dollar Margin Club put out. So that's got the open strategy uh, where you, we, we teach three strategies here. We teach the open strategy where we're trying to wait for it, depending on certain other indicators, you're waiting for it to break the pre-market high or the pre-market low before you get, go in right at the open. Very successful strategy. So you should look into that if you're new. We teach the escalator strategy, which is after the ATR is broken in the RV strategy. That's a trend. We call it like escalator up, escalator down. It retests, usually goes up. Just a little over a minute, guys. And then um, we teach the RV strategy, which is the most popular strategy where people are quitting their jobs. And this is a fairly new strategy. And a lot of people are doing really, really well with it because large caps won't shake you out. They won't if you keep to your trading plan. And it's so important to trade in a sim and follow all the things that we show here on the channel in that book. Trade in a sim, get green. But then once you do, you really can make a living day trading. It really can be done. And that is our purpose on the channel is to help you along that journey. But remember, seek the advice of somebody you trust, um, not just us or anybody else. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically what we're going to do today. You're going to see some live trading demo here. So demonstrations so you can see what it's like. Uh, let's see here. So guys, we got 30 five seconds and it's still looking long but maybe not so here's a it keeps going up then a pullback there's going up and now we have a pullback um hmm that's a strong pullback so we're looking that here hmm look at that climb right now guys i'm tending to go short here at this point Let's wait right for 10. Wow. I'm going to go short right there, guys. It's 10 o'clock. So it banged up, too. So I got it back at 91. So that was a little jump up there. So is everybody? No, oh, a couple of you went long, I see. Most everybody went short. So it's a good opening trade so far. Now we are train, trading high share size, so now it doesn't matter. Look at that, guys. Uh, it doesn't matter what um, share size. Uh, you're still a winning trade's a winning trade. So even if you had 10 shares or 15 shares, because large caps are expensive, you know you'd, you'd start making some money here: ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. You know, depending on what your share size is, 25 shares or something. You get 10 bucks. Um, and then you get you, you, that adds up. And then after 10, 15, 20 trades, you got a couple hundred to three hundred dollars. And that's the idea. So I don't want everybody to lose um, focus on that's what's really happening here. The smaller share size is what most of you can trade. And then if you're trading the larger share size, you're probably not even watching anymore because you're making so much money. <laughs> so, so, um I mean, obviously, there are people struggling with anything. And usually it, that you're struggling on, wow, 
Should have just take that, taken that 500 bucks and then uh, taken that short scalp back up. Usually you're struggling, struggling with emotions by not following your trading plan. So it broke through that fib. So I'm looking at these supports and resistances here. Um, and, uh, um, and then I'm looking at this down here too. So it's sort of just consolidating between these two four hours. I'm looking for a move here, either up or down. I'll just, I'll just do a reverse if it starts breaking through here. I just like to see some kind of a move other than these little tiny movements here. Now, this video is about how to soup up your platform, I have. And there's, wow, there we go. Okay, so is it going to break through that four hour too? It certainly did. Wow. I hope you guys are short right now. All right. So I'm going to hold this. Let's see if this is a retracement down, down over here, 315.54. Hit the VWAP. And spring right back up. Ten, I'm tempted to bank some of this. This is the nine moving average. This is the twenty moving average. So um, volume is working good. Don't have a helper with me today, so I get a little frustrated sometimes, and I'll record, and then it'll be like an unusable video. Um, because I can't think of everything like I should because I'm trading. <laughs> um, so now it's hitting against the four hour as a resistance. Wow, this is definitely continuing to go down. So let's look for it to get to either here on this four hour, 315.81. So that's down here, down here. If it, if it breaks that VWAP, let's look for the downward play. Wow. Is it going to turn around at that far? That's 315.81. Now, you look for the even dollar and the half dollar, too. So it's going to break through. You're looking at the spread. It's got a pretty good spread, and we're going to lose some on the slippage for sure when we get out of this position. So we're looking to ride this up and down, or in this case, down and up in these channels. But it's possible it just starts trending one particular way, so now you're getting down to the the bottom of the or the top of the volume profile, which is right here, which it had left before. Yeah, everybody's short right now. That's good. See everybody short? Yep. I'm gonna reverse there, guys. It's it's just I think it's not ah should have waited a second. I banked it, and then I'm, I'm looking for it to bounce off this. It's like a springboard here. Let's see what happens. It hit it once. I'll, I'll reverse right back the other way if it breaks it. Let's take a minute here to see. So right now, you've got this channel from here to here if you weren't playing the smaller ones. So if you're just looking for the big money, this is a channel that's been respected here. Then you've got a couple of baby moves in here. Um, now remember, the RV strategy is large cap stocks that are consolidating. So all day long, they just move in these channels. That's the safety of them. Yes, it's hard to afford many shares, but you can't get shaken out with a big loss because, I mean, you can, obviously, but I mean, it's less likely if you follow a trading plan that these are going to stay right in a zone. And Meta is really good about that. Now, when you go to NVIDIA and Tesla, you can spring way, way out of the the uh, ATR and it's a lot and it's um it's big money or you could take a big hit too. So, But most of the, the RV strategies about um, the rating system is going to work. Um, you know, we, we, what we don't really have is something for when it's too good, like when they hit a 10 all the time. It's like, it's like um, we don't really have something if it breaks the ATR that maybe it's a negative for the RV strategy. Instead, we just switch over and call it the escalator strategy. But if you're for safety-wise, those kind of moves where you're breaking through the ATR, you immediately have to think, what is my 
trend strategy because it should be different than a consolidation strategy. You know, it should be, you see, I'm not, you can see I'm talking, I'm not really concerned. I've got a big uh, cushion here. Um, it's just making little baby moves in here. Uh, my share size makes it look like bigger moves. These are very tiny moves in here. So this whole thing was from here down to here was, uh, was, wasn't even $2. It was $1.50. So if you had 10 shares, that'd be 15 bucks. You know, so it just, we're not having big moves to worry about. Wow. So I'm going to look for a reverse up here soon. So against that fib, maybe. Yeah, it's losing It's losing way off the fib. I'm going to take it off the fib. What did I get it at? 16.51. I also banked it. You can see the volume dropped as the sellers went up. Then it came against a big resistance right here, which has been respecting. So that's what I base that on. But it's doji now, and I'm starting to get worried that I, I made an error. I'm actually going to reverse again. So now, I, guys, I am long again at 316.28. Yeah, I, I did that too soon. Okay. Well, that's why you have cushions. So this could be coming all the way down here again. So let's see what happens. You know, it, it's definitely still a crapshoot within these channels, but they're going to help you make your decisions. That's what's so good about it. So you need a tight trading plan, um, and uh, you can make – $100, $200, $300 a day and change your life. You know, if you're just grinding those days out like we've all done so for so long. And, um, and it eats you up, man. So having something else that's maybe a little, I mean, it, there's a gamble feel. You got to be careful, you know. Um, we were just talking about that, what got us into it. And it was the excitement level, but also the freedom. You know, most of the Million Dollar Margin Club are you know, business owners. And um, so why do they still do it? Why do they do this rather than just long-term? Well, they, everybody does long-term. You know, everybody does live off of a draw off their accounts like so many of us want to do. Right? You just get a million or two million in your account and then you just take a steady draw. I don't know if you know how that works. If you're not familiar with that, most people don't have a million dollars or two million dollars in their account. But once you get that high, the stock market will usually... Um, What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm worried right here. I'm reversing. Yeah, I'm worried right there. I keep talking, but so it didn't make it twice. Then it banged off at once. It broke through it, but then sprang right back down with a hammer down. So um and now it's just kind of hovering here. So so I'm in a good position. I think, but it, not if it springs straight up, but it, I got it kind of near the top there, 1663. So I had it right up here. So this is my danger zone. If it breaks up over the seventies, then I have to think about, I'm in the wrong position. So, so use the, you've seen me mark these out about how to predict the whole market, the way the whole market moves, similar like that. You saw, saw me mark these out on my swings trade when I was doing spy there's a video very recently I didn't do well on the but but I marked it out well I just didn't follow the way I marked it out if you really look at it I, I I went short when I definitely should have gone long I just was banking in all the bad news with the wars and the fact that we probably aren't gonna um, have a budget passed or um, a deficit thing but um, anyway what I was saying is a lot of the people that have worked all their lives and put their money in their retirement um, they end up with a, a million or two million. These are, you know, older folk like myself. <laughs> and then how that works is you let a ride in the big, you know, you, somebody's managing your account. And most of it's not, it's all diversified, but it's in the stock market and bonds and treasury and everything else. And then you draw off of that every month you get enough money so you're making 100 or 150k or whatever your lifestyle is 200 
100K a year, and you take weekly or you take monthly usually um, checks that just drop in your account, and you're making on the low side five to eight percent, you know, and then you know it's been higher than that. Now Swab will say when you talk to them, oh, we can make you three percent, but most people, and that's very conservative. Um, but I see these guys, my friends on their apps, you know, they're just look how much money did I make today? Oh, it's 80 K today. Oh, I made 200 K today. Depends on how much is in their account, right? When there's big swings in the market and they just look at that, that's their fun. They just look at their phones and on their apps and it shows. Um, so they got the, the good life. So why do they come here? Why do they do that? Well, it's exciting. And you have so much that you're going to lose, and that's it. And then you, you're not going to let it affect your lifestyle. I mean, you shouldn't anyway. That's, that's how that works on that side of the coin. If you're not there and you're struggling to get there. If you're young now, um, in your 20s, 30s, even 40s. I mean, it's never too, too old to start. But, I mean, you should start thinking about how to save money toward that. I'm not, again, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. I wished I had started earlier doing that. My attitude was always just like, I'll just make the money I need to make. You know, I'll just do it and whatever it takes. You know, that was just my attitude. But, I, you know, squirreling some away in my 20s might have been a really good, a smart move. I just, you think you're going to live forever. You got all these opportunities and, you know, and I might still live forever. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I wore, we were joking today. I wore my, uh, my, I grew up in the Bahamas, so I, I call it my Sam Bankman Freed hat now. <laughs> Boy, he got toasted, huh? <laughs> Jeez, that's not a good, uh, not a good thing going on with him. It's not. If it's not going to make it down here, I'm going to reverse. Yeah, I'm going to reverse right now. So it's just hovering on this line. So I banked it up to 2000 which is good. Um, again, it's just, you're just picking the right. And even if you call it wrong, you usually get it, it starts to go right, you know. And you can't always count on it. But basically, you know, if you, if you shorted here and you went, oh, I messed up. Well, look what happened. Two minutes, three minutes later, you, you were okay. If you didn't bail, if you didn't freak. So you have to have a, um, you know. You have to have it planned out. So, you know, if, or if you went long right here thinking it's going to keep going and that happened and it didn't shake you out because you, you followed your trading plan, then you would have made it. You could have got out here, you know. So it gives you these opportunities where you're not, if you follow the trading plan you have and you let this number go to where it's the highest it's supposed to go, negative, you know, mine's 500. So, but yours might be 20, 15. And you just, that's when you get out. You don't get out thinking you've made a mistake instantly. Now, there is that breakout, if it doesn't break out, bailout um, attitude, but it's more like that's more for faster momentum stocks that aren't going to continuously consolidate in a channel. So, see, I, I called it wrong here. I mean, I got hit here a couple times, but I'm not freaking out because I feel like it's going to go my way. I feel like it's going to come back up. It's going to swell back up here. You know, that's a landscaping word swale or surfers word <laughs> so i brought it over to the stock market um so there it goes see see okay so there it goes it rebounded holy crap it really went so we haven't seen it move quite like that yet so i'm going to want to take advantage of this i think but you guys are you're uh, one couple of you are still short you know, and even though they're short right now, I'm thinking, so what? And it's going to come back, you know. So um, now I don't want to jinx it because there's a couple shaking their heads like, shut up. <laughs> but, um, so this is a possible resistance, 38, 16, 38. It hit it there and bounced back. These are reconciling really well today. I like it. Um, again, slower, consistent movement. That's why it's called RV, not because of relative volume, because it's an actual recreational vehicle is how we look at it. Just changes lane, slow and steady. See, now they're, they're all doing great again, and I should have capitalized on that 100 and something bucks right there, um, and I didn't. So 
but I, I'm just still in the money just in this position here. It's just kind of working this channel. It's like can't decide between this channel and that channel. I'd love to see it make an actual move this way because that's the way my position is. So you look at the 15 minute, it just had a big pullback. Now I have the 15 minute here just so I, I don't lose perspective about which way it's really going. So if this was red right here, I definitely would not be sitting in a long position no matter what this looked like. I would be concerned about holding it long, but it's green. Um, and then I know that the five's green and oh, some people only trade the five minute. That's what this grid is here. This is five minutes so I can tell when they're going to make their move by watching this candle. So if this is going to be green on the five minute, two minutes from now, most likely they're going to go in or not go out at least and make the stock move in a particular direction. So this is in some ways it's pretty boring uh, and we're not making a lot of money unless we start doing little scalps. Now, the danger with that is there's a seven to 10 cent uh, spread here and you could slip to fill your shares, even though this is multiplied by 100, it could slip down to a different price. And if you're if you're only up fifty or hundred bucks on baby scalps, you might lose it all and be actually red on the trade. So you have to think about that. Um, nice. Okay. Well, I'm not going to hold that real long. You guys got holy mackerel. Look at that. That's going to make if that bursts through that, guys. Hopefully, is anybody okay? Everybody's long. Good. Uh, wow. Well, what, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose that money. That looked like it was about to dive. It's not staying down there though. I'm actually gonna go back again. That's hammering up, and I banked it, so I'm not as worried right now. Wow. A little little dragonfly hammer up right there. So now 15 minute and five minute are telling all those traders are saying this is still going to go up. Look at that. The volume went up with the buyers. This is spinning up. Look at it go. I'm not even looking at the chart. I'm looking right here thinking this is going to continue to go up. Got a good position because it's kind of keeping me even money. So... Um, Now it's just it's sitting right here, so we got to keep a close eye on what's going to happen here. Now this could just drop right back off, so let's watch it. Yeah, I know a lot of these guys trade uh, crypto, and um, there was uh, some investors in Sam's stuff, and they were angry. Um, Got a lot of movie stars too, huh? Tom Brady got hit pretty hard too. Athletic stars. Um, they're saying like he could go to prison for the rest of his life. I didn't think that could happen for money, but I guess it can. I guess it's so high profile, probably right. That's why. It's like everybody wants a piece of piece of him. I noticed his haircut changed. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Wow. So that is the top of the VWAP outer limits. And this is out of control going up. So that was on the five minute and everybody jumped in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wow. I'm going to take that. I'm going to actually reverse there. Um and just get ready to reverse bat. Mostly I wanted to stay in the position and bank it, but um, that was probably, I probably should have just sold, but, or bought, yeah, instead of being in a short position as it's rising up here. So I'm a little concerned that I, I uh, broke 3,000. Wow, it's going up, not down. It's not going to give me a chance here. Maybe a lesser loss here. Yeah, I think I'll take that $8 loss. I stayed over 3000 
I thought it might I thought it might fade. But look at the buyers here. <laughs> look at the scalpers indicator. And this is just like racing up here. It's totally beating them out. This is telling you, literally telling you, like I keep saying, like a, a wave and you're on a surfboard and a wave's coming by. Jump on the wave and you make some quick money on it. So scalpers indicator is a good way to make some very fast money if you're just doing quick scalping, uh, especially on fast moving stocks that aren't like um, – the RV strategy here. Wow. I'm going to bank that again on a reverse. So I'm just, ba I got nothing to go on here, except I'm watching this and this volume dropped with the buyers. So that's why I did that. So, um, and I banked it and I knew that it was not moving too fast. I'm not too afraid. If I called it wrong, I'll just jump right back out and reverse it the other way. which I'm going to do right now. Oh, dad, did I have some slippage? I thought I was well over. I thought I was 3,200 uh, a minute ago. Well, at least I'm over three still. So if you've watched me trade, if you haven't seen me trade before, I just like to stay in a position and a lot, a lot, wow, a lot of that is, okay, so now I, I, I got 100 bucks there. Whoa, whoa. I shouldn't have got out. Oh, man. Ouch. Yeah, I don't want to be holding this short as it makes this move. So, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to get out real quick. Reverse. So, I was starting to say, guy, reverse too quickly. I started to – I'm getting a slippage of about 50 bucks, it looks like, on these spreads. Um, I – I didn't used to like to stay in a position on small caps, which I trade a lot of. I would just get in and get out. But because these retrace constantly, the um, RV strategy, I found that when I would go back and look at my trades, I found that I was waiting a long time for an, for an entry, and I was missing a lot of moves. I was looking for the perfect entries, which is what you should do. Look at this. This is terrible now. So it definitely... Um, should have been, uh, but, but I'm not like, this is what I'm looking for. If it breaks through here and gets back down into 316 something, I should try to just probably keep my money. So, and, uh, um, probably sell more than reverse and just see what the heck's going on here. The other day, I think when we trade meta, I made right around, 4K, 3,900. It looks like we're on par for that unless I get hit here. Yeah, it's going, the, it's going the wrong way. It's going back down. Now look at the 5 and the 15. Remember, this is where you can lose your perspective, and, and that's why I just looked over at them. Um, then the sellers went up, so it made a higher high for selling for sure, um, and the buyers just like dropped. But let's just see as you get – remember, this is like little tethers – all these lines, as you break through these ceilings and floors, people traded these levels. Those people are still most likely still there, trading them again. And that's why you can kind of – now we're in a fairly big channel here, 317.80 all the way down to 317.06. So we got uh, 74 cents of channel that you should be prepared to ride, which is just about my max loss. And it's right – it's getting close to it. Um, so I don't want to see it break that. You, I will get out. Um, so, you know, this is the this is a full channel that you'd want to trade with 750 shares if you have a $500 max loss. And that in the in the book or in the video, if you find them, they talk about how to how to use the channels as your um, your safety. You know, your safety for your risk risk and reward. You use the channel size to figure out your share size so that you're able to play the, you know, you're going to look at the channels. You're going to see, do I want to try to play this here all the way? Or do I want to do the little one here? Cause they have mini channels, small channel, medium channel, large channels, and they're all marked out and they're all figured out to help you, um, to help you manage your risk. And I don't like seeing this. This is sitting down here and consolidating. Obviously this is not a fun feeling I'm having, but, um, I'm not overly worried. Uh, I'm still looking at the big plays. Now the five starting to turn around. The 15 looks good still. So, yeah, that that told me they were going to go down more. 
So I waited out and just was like ready to get out. But now it seems like you can see. See, they they saw that. They're looking. Well, look at the five minute actually had a green still. But it was a big pullback from where the action was. So there was there's a struggle as to what they did. Some went in, some came out. More people trade five-minute candlesticks than one minute. More people trade 15 minute than five minute. More people trade one hour than 15 minute. More people trade four hour than one hour. That's just the way it is. So um, you can ask ChatGPT, see what it says. But that's what we all know and believe. And then daily, we have more people trade daily than any of the intraday time frames. Now, the, the uh, scalpers did pick up, obviously, over the last few years, and COVID helped with all the people at home, people just going on the one-minute, five-minute time frame when it used to be mostly always daily, weekly, monthly, you know. I mean, always there was always day traders, but I mean uh, scalpers, but just things changed um, with the advent of more people showing scalping with the better technical tools that you can use. Uh, the different strategies people were coming up with to get in and out. but there's so, And then the penny stocks, those big moves on the penny stocks, all the movies about the penny stocks. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think I will. Um, I don't think I'm going to reverse. It's short. That's not, I'm not going to do that, but I will buy out if it breaks through that line. Keeps toying with it. It's totally respecting it. So... Here we go. I know you guys have been taking a lot of scalps, so I've been kind of talking and not doing a lot of good stuff here. I kind of wanted to, getting ready to call it a day here. It's almost uh, 1030. So we usually just trade the RV for a half hour and then we kind of break up and people trade different strategies. Some people stop trading. I usually stop, go to work, um, work on my other stuff. And then I come back at the power hour a lot. I'd love to see it make a move up here. I don't know if it's going to do it. Fifteen, sure saying it's going to do it. So now, you know, the sellers went up, but then they started to drop. So we're looking for a big surge we're above the point of control here. We're way above it on the intraday down here. We're way down here at point of control. Look at how it's just following that VWAP upper level. Bing, 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 coming down. I wasn't always having these on, as most of you guys know. I started to put these on because people were saying that in, during the RV strategy, often these were respected. It was just one more. You're just looking for one more edge to help you with the already great idea of the channels and the consolidation. You know, that just a slow, steady, make some money. Don't panic if you follow what your max loss is. Here we go. So I am tempted to just get out. So... Let's just see where, where I have more, 30, maybe 3,500 or something. There it goes, 30. Oh, whoa, whoa. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Is it going to break that? I should have taken that. Wow, that was, what was that? That was almost 200 bucks, wasn't it? Um, ah. Oh, come on. So I'm just looking at the money now. I'm looking at where it's going like watch the money too but too far down too far up um can it get up to 318 that would be nice huh break through that 317.80 go for 18 it's hitting the 75 a lot right now it needs to break through the 317.80 this is a pivot point for sure ah come on Here we go again, same thing. I think I'm destined to be around the low 3Ks, I think, today. 
Lost a lot of time in here with just it didn't go to the top or the bottom. See, these are ceilings, these are floors. So it rested on the floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get ready here. Is it breaking the 80? It's trying again. Okay, it broke through. There you go. Now the next resistance is 318 uh, even. So it went to 389 high. It's setting new highs. People jump on a lot on the new highs. So I'm going to look at 318 to get, I'm going to get out. What did that hit? What did I get? I got like a 31803, I think. Um, so yesterday, no, I don't know when it was. A few days back, I did Meta Friday, I think it was. And I got to 39 something. Okay, guys, I'm going to call that a day. I know most of you are still in along there. Oh, look at that. I probably could have made, well, got it went up to 24. I got out pretty high here. Uh, well, for now, but this could be hit the Fibonacci up here. So there's the ATR way up here. So it's well within its range. Some people, guys, just only trade the ATR range. They look at the entire range for their this to set their profit taking and stop losses. Now you may never get that that, but that's how they do it with Nvidia. A lot of people do with the Tesla, um, those bigger ones. You just you just lower your share size so you can play that. $10 range or whatever. Um, so, okay. Well, I hope this was enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Remember, we've got all those free custom scripts here you can get. Um, there's videos about them, videos about the different strategies and the archives um, and a lot of other stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. We will see you next time. I'm hoping to take a swing still, those of you that were watching that. Um, it might not be until next week now because I'm just looking for a definitive way the market might go so i will put that out the same you know the morning i take it i'll i'll put it out as, as quick as i can i just don't want you to count on it um because i am looking for some signs of which way what's going to happen so um, okay guys have a good one stay green